Today's video, I'm going to cover a little trick that the all-time great Paul Spada Four, lightweight champion in the world, used to use that I trained from 99 to 2003. Paul held the world title. And one of the little tricks he used to use, and I got my amateur boxer, Paul Palumbo, to demonstrate, who's a softball like Paul was. And the way Paul used to do this little trick, and Paul's going to demonstrate it, is he used to use his hands to turn the guy after he would throw a left hand or he would slip it or he would slip a jab and he would get an angle by actually manipulating and maneuvering his opponent. Okay, he would move his opponent. So first demonstration off of this move, I will go we'll slip the jab. Paul's gonna slip my jab, okay? When he slips my jab, again, Paul's, Paul's in, his, in, a, in a good stance where he's got that heel-toe stance and shoulder trajectory. The, his right shoulder is a little higher than his left because he's a softball, okay? So now, I'm going to throw a jab at Paul, and he's going to slip that jab. When he slips that jab, okay, my left hand's out of play, okay? So now, when he slips that jab, he's going to take his right hand and put it around my waist and turn me while he's pivots right there. Right. See that? Now he's got the angle and he's able to catch me with a left hand. Okay? It's a beautiful move. Beautiful. Very, very, very uh, coordinated and smooth move that he would use there. He slips the jab and then he turns. It. And then he's able to hit me with a left hand. He's able to come back with a soak and gets that angle. Okay? So, in a fast motion. And he's hit me. Okay? So he's actually. He's actually taking my waist. When he takes my waist with that punch, when he slips, he takes that. See, he's there. He's there to turn me. He totally turns. When you turn the guy's hips, you turn his whole body. When I got my hand on him, like if I would do that to him, when I got my hand on him and I'm turning, I turn his hips and I turn. I got control of him. I can turn him. See? That's a turn. I'm putting my hand right on the back of his, which would be his left hip. With him, Southpaw, he's putting it right on the back of my right hip. He's turning me. I got no way of getting away from that move once he starts to turn me like that. Okay? And a lot of times what he would do, the other way he would do it, is Paul would throw a, a left hand, and he would do it right off the left hand he would do it. Okay? he hit the guy with the left hand, and then he would take that hand and turn the guy. And then he could throw another left hand back with the right hook. Or... If the, guy, if the guy slipped that left hand, now I'm really in a position to be turned, okay? So in fast motion, the way that's looking is, throw the left hand, I'm slipping it, the guy's going to dip this way, slip it, and he's going to be able to, that's it, he's able to turn me just like that. Do a fast motion, okay? Throws the left hand, I slip it, see? So in other words, when he threw that left hand at me and I slipped it, my counter could be to come back with the right hand. But see, he's taking that and he's turning me. Now I can't throw that punch. Just to go over one last time and show you the footwork out. So let's say, just like say Paul, Either he, either he can slip my jab or he throws a left hand. Either way, let's just say he, he slips my left hand, he slips my jab, okay? When he slips my jab, or if he throws the left hand, when I slip, his toes are uh, turned towards his target, okay? Now, just like he threw, when he threw the left hand, that's the way he's turning those toes, okay? Then he's gonna reach out, he's gonna put his hand on my hip at the same time, simultaneously, then he, he pivots that back foot. So let's say let's say he throws the left hand at me. See that? It's all simultaneously what he does there. He's, he's, he's doing it, he's slipping, and he's turning. The same time he puts his hand on me, then he's pivoting his back foot, which is his left foot, 
And he's putting his hand on me, he's turning me. Look at the position that I'm in. I gotta turn to find him, I can get hit. He's got an angle to hit me with a left hand, a right, uh, another left hand, a right hook over the top. I can turn to find him, he's still gonna be hitting me. He can still keep that angle going, okay? So it's just a beautiful, beautiful move that Paul used to use. And Paul was, was Loma before there was Loma, you know, and he was a great lightweight champion, very, very underappreciated. People should go and check him out on YouTube. They can learn a lot from him. So comment below, let me know what you guys think of the video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.